Welcome to Channel Emac, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day, everyone. My name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about my great to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell on the side so once we have all the updates and news, be the first one to get all the insight. Now this week, um, obviously you probably have um, viewed the video that I've done while I was traveling. Uh, there has been a major announcement of the uh, or minister from of Home Affairs, also the minister of Immigration, Andrew Chow, so Clay O'Neill together. They went on the media, uh, talked about this rapid uh, review which they're going to implement and put it on task forces uh, to crack down more of the uh, dodgy actors in Australia. Now, I wanted to, um, in, the, in today's video, I would like to talk about, obviously you, you click on the th thumbnail, it's about the, uh, the cyber attack that's just happened uh, yesterday we're gonna talk about that uh, and I just wanted to give all of the viewers and fans that the uh, uh, we we are we are sl well, not slowly we're rapidly uh, turning and changing into a phase where from what my, my observation and perhaps a lot of other people's uh, professionals or, or experts had also seen the changes that since the, the COVID and the pandemic, there has been a shift of what is actually valuable stuff uh, for the humanity and obviously for the government. So we have been looking at the climate change, the green energies, and in, in particular that relates more towards uh, all the immigrant or skilled migrants. And in this channel's, uh, you know, the topic and titles, uh, I, I, I will suggest that the, there's a shift from uh, making wealth and money. So in, in the in the past 10, 20, 30 years, because there was no really major international conflicts. So uh, all the governments back then were shifting towards where they can collect and uh, you know, accrue as much wealth and money, so-called, uh, that's wealth, uh, as much as possible. So we have seen an opening of the uh, investment visas uh, and all these uh, uh, private sector in education and all type of exports. This is all relating to making money and making wealth of the government. Uh, now, I'm not saying that the government is not focusing on that, but they have changed the priorities. This is what I wanted to share with you. Now, the priority nowadays is more towards innovation that include technology stuff. So that's including, you know, space defense, uh, you know, cyber securities, ICT engineering, uh, all that time, fintech, all that type of stuff. So, so innovation, agri-tech. So you can name a lot. We can name a lot. Okay. So innovation is is the, is one of the prior prioritize uh, category that uh, the government is looking towards, and the other one is obviously national security now uh, probably national security will be more prioritized than innovation so this is the the, the message that i wanted to share with all among all my viewers and fans so national security and the innovation and the wealth probably at the at the you know what third of the uh, the the actual uh, rankings there. Now, why do I say that? Because you can you can from the perspective on the immigration topic, you can actually see this. Uh, there, there's a stop on beep, which is the in investment visa, okay, and they they uh, they are not long. They have. Pull the uh, global talent from 100, uh, 15,000 down to 5,000. That's another key there. Uh, and now we are looking into a crackdown. Now, the the contact of crackdown obviously uh, is is a good thing that the, uh, the government should really do. But it will also kill a lot of wealth as well. So can you imagine how many uh, the uh, private education education institution, although some of them are good, some of them are doing the bad thing, but if they're going through crackdown, 
uh, the good one will also be affected as well uh, because the visa application won't go through, the wealth will not come. So as you can see, there's a national security innovation on the top of the actual wealth uh, category of the government prioritization there. Uh, so that's that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Now, not, not just the uh, crackdown on the, uh, obviously you see this news, uh, I've, I've done a news uh, a video a couple of days ago, uh, but you can read uh, in, in more detail. It's basically going into the internal circuits of the sector and also in the immigration and education uh, uh, industry there. Uh, and you may notice this is more academical stuff. You, don't, you probably don't want to read this. This is from the Department of Home Affairs, uh, the Rapid Review of Exploitation of Australian Visa System. So obviously the current government is, or oh, they, they are they are attacking back of the uh, opposition as you can see in the pre previous weeks the opposition has been using the housing crisis as a topic to talk to attack the current uh, government now the current government is taking this i don't know whether it's going to be political but again you can see uh they are putting into a, a topic on this one and even with the report now this report was actually done in early this year they only announced this uh, now. Why? Uh, well, I believe because they need to get the um, the departmental officers or the teams ready to start going into a task forces. There are so many of these recommendations. Uh, they are 45 pages. I'm not going to go through each uh, every one of them and all the pages, but some of them you can see. Uh, see, they are putting in reprioritization immigration compliance functions. Now, obviously, we have been talking about uh, a lot of government has been talking about uh, ripping off the the red tapes, so make things quicker. But if you put a task force like this into the system, it will not make process quicker. Okay, it will make it more complex. But obviously, again, as what I just said at the beginning of this video, they are putting on national security innovation. So what? Why is this a national security? Obviously, because the exploitation has been, uh, you know, linked to uh, human trafficking and also linking to uh, the the, the uh, you can see on the the uh, sex works and things like that and perhaps other type of national security issues there as well uh, number three says consider further extension on anti-money laundry again this is more about the national uh, security thing as well uh, so these compliance of the things are all and this is all talking about compliance if you, if you wanted to take a, a deep read on this one checking on the right uh, registration migration agents there and giving more power to the to the palm to actually check on uh, you know check on people there so how many recommendations actually here let, let me just pull this down to the well, not the very end but uh, okay 34 recommendations you, you see it's all increase you see the, the last one increased proactive integrity detention fraud inappropriate behavior unlawful serial serious criminal activities so as you can see here it's it's all um putting on the money uh not generating the money but spending more on what national security issues there i think that's where the uh, prioritization there now coming back to the uh last but not least the uh, uh the news came out yesterday uh you probably have seen it as well so the title reads australia's home affair department hit by double dos attack claimed by pro-russia hacker now, how many Australian, you know, national, you know, graded uh, website has been hacked over the past year? Uh, so we have seen what uh, Optus, uh, Medibank, and now the Home Affairs Office Department, the Hope Department has been hacked. Uh, I'm not too sure how good the Australian government is handling on the uh, cybersecurity issue there, uh, but again, this this will, will certainly attract attention and pull uh, what happened to uh, what i just said at the beginning of this video the national security innovation then the wealth on the uh, the categorization and the prioritization of the government for uh, now and it will it will continue to grow that way into the future so how will that actually affect 
uh, you and me, and perhaps people wanted to migrate to Australia. Now Australia is still a great country.、Uh, that's why a lot of people wanted to go. Now、uh, I think the the other reason is the northern hemisphere is not. It's just. Chaotic at this point of time.、Uh, I've seen a lot of video talking about the、uh, North America, not, not just USA but Canada.、Uh, there's a lot of issue there, and also the inflation issue in Europe,、uh, and also in Asia is a mess as well.、Uh, so how would that all affect? So all these international events、uh, comes down to、uh, how Australian governments is actually handling and reflecting back to all these kind of issues. And that's why I'm, I'm here to say that the national interest in innovation will will come on the first. So you need to really concern if you really want to come to Australia, study as an international student. Don't go to those dodgy agents and go to those cheap courses. That's not going to be long run. That that will that will be enforced by the task force. They will remove all of that. So make sure you don't. Get yourself end up there. Don't come to Australia as a,、um, uh, working holiday makers and then transfer into those cheap courses. Or don't come to、uh, Australia by utilizing university、uh, offer and then you come and then you transfer into other colleges. Th- this kind of conducts、uh, will be、uh, monitor very very precisely. And scrutinized、uh, by the government of Australia by the border force, so that all will be reinforced.、Uh, and also talking about employment sponsor visa, although they are looking into、uh, set a little bit loose and expanding the scope,、uh, but how that will actually go, I think we we're heading into a very complicated world nowadays,、uh, and a lot of factors is actually. Merging all together, and that's why you see all these mess. Not just the political、uh, craps that has been going on from the Australian opposition, Liberal National Party, and also the Labor Party, but also the international events happening every day. And we have just seen what happened yesterday, where the hacker just simply hack into the Department of Home Affairs. Now, can they hack into the Prime Minister's office? Probably, and how would the government of Australia or the government around the world nowadays react to all this? Should they expand, allowing more immigrants? Don't know. How would the Canadian government actually、uh, respond to that? And talking about Can- Canada, Canada is not you know coping well with India nowadays. And how would that happen? That all also attract into the categorization and prioritization of national. Security as well,、uh, and all that will, will all merge together. It's not a world that we lived in ten, twenty years back then. Anyway, should you have more question and query, more than welcome to leave comment right down below, and I see you next video. Goodbye.